hi everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be decorating these gift bags which i made last week if you go back on my channel you'll see last week i decorate i made these bags sorry um and i used some scrap diva design dies the flower one that's a shaker die and also bag maker die which i'm absolutely in love with it made it so easy to make these bags so i'm decorating this one with some embellishments which i've been gifted so this heart one is from victoria and then these handmade flowers are from manar and i did have in mind how i was going to decorate them before this video um because it was going to just take me ages to try and decide so i had a little think about it beforehand and I think this turned out really, really cute. And next Friday's video, I'm going to be making another project with this flower shaker die. So keep an eye out for that. I just stick all of the flowers on using my hot glue gun so they're stuck on really nice and tightly and they're definitely not gonna budge i'm so excited to fill up this gift bag and gift it to someone as well here's how it turned out i really love how this turned out and i definitely want to make another one i already want to make another one so i definitely will be doing that in the future and then for my second gift bag I used the bag maker die as well and then this was a butterfly die which I had in my stash. So I'm using this flower bouquet embellishment which was made by Cheryl. I won it on her Patreon giveaway and I absolutely love it. It's so cute. And one of them, the little roll flower, I think that's one from Cheryl's shop as well. And then these are some Spellbinder word dies. So I'll just put on happy birthday this one is going to be a little birthday gift bag. And I thought this little bow looks super cute on the bouquet. I recently just got the Spellbinders um, flower dye which Cheryl's used on the little bouquet. So I definitely need to make up some of them little bouquets now. They're so cute. To use a bit of liquid glue to stick down them words i was using the nouveau glue um but i really needed a finer tip one because it was quite tricky to do and i recently just got a finer tip glue i went with the barely arts glue and i'm really liking using that I've got so many videos coming up on my channel at the moment. I have so much content to post. I'm posting like pretty much every other day or sometimes every day. <laughs> I hope that you're enjoying the videos. So here's this one finished. I love how this one turned out. It's super pink and pretty. And I just absolutely love the project of making these two bags. And I'm definitely going to make some more as well in different types. Thanks so much for watching.